Now, if Nikki Haley wins or even does very well in New Hampshire, it'll be a big story, of course, and we'll hear a lot about it. But then what happens? It's a long primary process. New Hampshire is just one small, heavily wooded state out of 50. Will Republicans in other states back Nikki Haley too? Will she win a string of these? Well, they're not going to vote for her voluntarily. Haley can only become the Republican nominee if Republican primary voters have no one else to vote for. So the plan works like this. Ron DeSantis drops out after losing a few contests in a row. He simply runs out of money and has to head back to Florida. That could happen. And at that point, liberal donors swing as a block behind Nikki Haley, giving her bottomless resources. That's already happening right now. And then critically, Donald Trump goes to jail. And that could happen too, to be honest. And at that point, bam, Nikki Haley wins the Republican nomination by default. Now, it's not a foolproof plan. A lot could go wrong. But at this point, it's the only plan. It's all that Democrats have. Joe Biden is going to have a very hard time getting reelected, much less serving another term. It's impossible to imagine that. Yet the party cannot replace him because that would leave Kamala Harris, who is even more unpopular than he is. Because Harris is a member of the new master race, she cannot be booted off a presidential ticket. She must be shown maximum respect at all times, no matter what she says or does. And so that means the Democratic Party is stuck with two fatally unpopular candidates. It's their doing, of course, but it's a massive problem. They can't get out of it. So their only option at this point is to run a Republican who has the same views as Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. And that is exactly what they're doing right now, no matter what they tell you. And that candidate's name is Nikki Haley.